whenever I talk to even other artists or rappers or the people, it's everyone's like, yeah, you know, I, I want to do these kind of like crazy different things. Sometimes it's just, you feel trapped in a way. And so, yeah, yeah that's the whole concept of this project is um, that kind of energetic release of like all these creations over the years. You're listening to The Real You, thoughts, ideas, and perspectives from the ordinary and all of us. My name is Dooley, and this podcast is in partnership with Pocket Change, the social platform built to show the real you. But it still is beautiful, and it should be heard. And, like, I love that idea. So, like, kind of what you're saying, like, having this giant, you know, accumulation of tracks that may not fit anywhere, Mm. but still deserve to be heard and listened to, because people out there probably would love it anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's literally the inspiration of this. The rap album is, it's literally four years of, semi-collected work that now I've put a modern mix up on and just professionalizing the sound but that's really why it's called out the cage is it it feels like the creative cage you kind of put yourself in and it's like I've been like too scared to share these or the other artists in their own ways have been like holding themselves into certain categories that these their styles and these beats are, are kind of out of their own realm but whenever I talk to even other artists or rappers or the people it's everyone's like yeah, you know, I I want to do these kind of like crazy different things. Sometimes it's just you feel trapped in a way. And so, yeah, yeah that's the whole concept of this project is um, that kind of energetic release of like all these creations over the years. And like now that's out, it's like, great, cool. The world can do what I want with it, whether anyone listens to it at all or whether one song blows up or the whole thing or who at that point, it's like there's nothing I can control. That's where you just have to let it go. Yeah. And that too is like the I'll, the cover of it's this kind of bird doing this big like fucking wingspan thing. It's kind of same thing like bird out the cage. I like can't you know like go free. Yeah, fly <laughs> bird, fly. Yeah, fly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what the, that's what it is. It's kind of this kind of, and it's a confident kind of scary looking bird too. So it's like you're ready to get like fucked, but at the same time, it's just dope, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's like you know. So yeah, definitely, and it. it it clears creative capacity too because now yeah i've been spending time like getting that last touch-ups on those songs first off that was a good practice in its own self to step out of the bass music realm for just a moment and get your ear on new things but um now coming back in i'm like okay i just put out a whole project like now it's that's gone that's there time now i've got a couple tracks here that i'm really excited about like, yeah even the one with you like i think this one's so so sick and we're literally just about to get it wrapped up and i'm like perfect let's fucking box it up boom another like thing to have and then it's kind of just keep creating and you know let go of the reactions to it as much as it's just if you keep creating dope shit and pushing yourself and all stuff inevitably over the next 80 years of life or we could die tomorrow but at the same time <laughs> if you're, i hope not i hope not i hope not but <laughs> under that thing of there's there's no rush to have made it as much as there's the rush to just lean into your own creation and yourself. And so like, that's sort of where I'm shifting that to is fuck it. I've been doing this for six years. I've put out almost 60 songs. Like it's literally 60 projects. So there's been some mixes and some stuff in there, but the amount of shit I have actually out there that just has gotten less than a hundred views that I've poured my shit into is I'm like, fuck it. Fuck the reactions at this point. I just looking back to them now. I'm like, Oh, well the mix is fucking whack and but i'm not going to go revisit and fix it up i'm no. like i just got to keep moving forward and evolving in my own way so like that's sort of how i view it and also where i found new kind of like refreshed energy because everything i work on now just feels like it keeps getting better than the last and i'm like yep. and then there's a bunch of shit that's horrible and i'm like what did i even do today <laughs> but um but well, that's, meantime, a, that's important for Nicole. personal growth you yeah, know yeah, that's yeah. super important for personal growth yeah, so. yeah, yeah. and you find the little the little gold moments in, in the meantime so that's where i'm like fuck it <laughs> we'll, we'll yeah exactly i'm stoked that we're finishing this track because i started this track actually quite a while ago i started this track probably i want to say like six months ago five or six months ago yeah and it's like every time i listen i would listen to it before i send it to you i'm like this track has so much potential mm. and i just don't know what the fuck it needs like i yeah. don't know and so i'm so glad i sent it to you because this thing came together so well yeah and yeah. um I, like I thought we worked really cohesively on it. Your yeah. sound fit perfectly with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, your shit inspired me too. It's like, I'm in my own route. I'm trying to start a whole new song and it's like, 
that can be overwhelming too. Cause you're like, oh, I know this is going to be a whole thing. But then when you kind of have this, all these amazing ideas and everything already there, it's like, Oh my, like you send it to me and I could just hear what, like it get what the energy it gave me. And I think I told you about that too. Like right? yeah. the, the show where I'd been in these kind of moments I've had that were inspiring, but I didn't know what to do with all of a sudden yeah. your song, like re triggered that inspiration from that show. And I was like, I know what that show gave me inspiration wise, like bring that energy into this. So I think, yeah, I think we've got a super, super dope track and fucking ready to get it out there. It's going to, it's going to pop off. I know it will. Yeah. I, uh, the other day I showed it, I was just in my car mm. and uh, was with my friend Mark. I was like, yo, you want to hear this? Like I could use some feedback on this. And he was like, yeah, yeah, sure. If I can play it for me. And like on the second drop, he was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, that's the reaction I wanted. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. We'll get it. That's good. <laughs> no. Um, all right. Well, even on that, we should, um, we can kind of even call it too on this recording on everything and stuff, but, um, here, wait, wait. Hello, computer. this is, this is cool. I enjoyed this <laughs> and you should do this more often. You should make this a thing. These, these should go somewhere. One, you're really good at talking to people. You're really good at this interaction. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people aren't, which makes for like a really awkward video conversation. Yeah. Um, two, I just love the idea behind what you're trying to do. I think it's awesome. Um, well, it's yeah, I it's appreciate a, it. But it's literally, I, I'm, I like the like even hearing your kind of like creating a space to just hear your story with shit. It's like obviously yours is fucking insane. Like with the whole lighting and thing, production too is such a thing area I'm in, like inspired by. But I literally feel like there's so many people and just in the world, and it's not like everyone like literally the basic stories are crazy if you kind of just hear yeah. them. And it's yeah. so um, that too is where I, I'm excited about this stuff too.